On this channel, one of the most watched series is the Call of Duty backstory, specifically diving into the Black Ops universe. And two weeks ago, we dove into the older Call of Duty games, looking at the entire story of Frank Woods. Frank Woods being one of the most iconic protagonists in any Call of Duty game ever. Now today, we are going to flip the coin over to Tails and look at the opposite of that, one of the most iconic antagonists ever in a Call of Duty game. Getting ranked number one on the 2012 list of top villains by Game Informer, today we discuss the story of Raul Menendez. We are ready. So as many of you probably already know, and as I kind of already mentioned, Raul Menendez is the main antagonist in Call of Duty Black Ops 2, but what a lot of people don't know is he is also one of the main antagonists in Black Ops 4 as well. Now a lot of people don't know his Black Ops 4 story, so we will get to that later in the video, but first, what we need to start out with is the beginning of Menendez. How did he become this villain in the Call of Duty universe? Where did that begin? And that starts on September 5th, 1960 in Nicaragua when Raul Menendez was born to the father of Jose Luis Menendez. Now, that doesn't seem important, but you'll understand in a second why knowing who his father is is actually pretty damn important. You see, when Raul Menendez was born into Nicaragua, they were having a revolutionary war in the late 70s. So growing up, war was surrounding Raul Menendez. On top of this, as it turned out, the Americans backed the Contras in the war, which because of America's involvement, Raul Menendez began a deep hatred toward the West and specifically towards America. By the way, if you're a history buff, this is actually kind of historically accurate, which is kind of cool. Now, in 1972, there was a colossal earthquake in Nicaragua, and because of this earthquake, the Menendez family lost everything. A year after the earthquake, his sister Josephine was in a warehouse that caught on fire, and in the warehouse fire, Josefina was horribly disfigured and crippled. Now, during this fire, Raul thought his sister had died, so he went to go kill himself by slitting his throat with Josefina's heart pendant. You may recognize this heart pendant as it is very prevalent throughout the rest of the story. Now, as he was doing this, his sister woke up and begged him not to kill himself. Now, as it turns out, this warehouse that caught Josephina on fire was burnt down by an American owner to collect $11,000 worth of insurance fraud. This furthered Menendez's hate towards the Americans. Moving into his teenage years, Raul went into business with his father, selling drugs. Quickly, they became very good at this and eventually formed the Menendez Cartel. This became so big that their family got a godlike status amongst the criminal underworld, and because of this, Raul Menendez became the evil villain that he was, after this being watched by the CIA and eventually becoming one of America's most wanted criminals. Now this is where the story of Black Ops 2 begins. Now, after Alex Mason retires, Frank Woods is sent on a mission to capture Menendez in Angola. Now, things don't go so well, and as we find out, Woods is captured by Menendez and kept in a shipping container. Now, after Frank Woods is captured, the CIA goes to Mason and convinces him to re-enlist and go and try to rescue Frank Woods. Now, when he does, he actually runs into Menendez in his hut. And if you were wondering what happened to Menendez's eye, Alex Mason actually shot his eye out, and one more reason why Menendez he hates America even more. Now, as we know, after this, Mason escapes Raul Menendez's hut and actually ends up rescuing Frank Woods. But as you can guess, after being held captive by Menendez, Woods is a little bit pissed off, so him and Mason once again team up best friends in war and go after Menendez. So alongside their new informant Noriega, they storm Menendez's compound in Nicaragua. In this compound is not only Menendez, but also his sister, Josefina Menendez. Now at this point, Menendez is actually drugged and captured by the CIA, and Josefina is left fine in her bedroom. However, what ends up happening is Noriega ends up turning on the CIA and releasing Menendez. So at this point, Woods and Mason are sent in to the compound. Now, when Mason and Woods storm the compound, as soon as Woods sees Menendez, he loses his noodle, tries to kill him, but their mission is to capture him. So he pulls a grenade and tries throwing it at Menendez. His mistake 
He misses Menendez, the grenade goes into Josefina's room, and it ends up killing her. As you can imagine, Raul is pretty damn pissed at this point. And this is where shit really hits the fan. After these events, Noriega gives Menendez asylum in Panama, and what Menendez does next is goes and kidnaps David Mason and Jason Hudson, which is one of the co-workers of Mason and Woods. What ends up happening is Jason Hudson ends up giving information to Alex Mason and Frank Woods as to where David Mason is being kept. On top of that, Jason Hudson gives them false information that they have captured Menendez and for Frank Woods to execute him. What ends up happening next is Woods doesn't shoot Menendez. He shoots his partner, his best friend, Alex Mason. On top of that, Menendez kills Hudson in front of Woods, however allows Woods and David Mason to escape. After this, Menendez flees and isn't really heard from for the next 30 years. However, this scene right here is why a lot of people consider Raul Menendez to be one of the most devious and horrible villains in any video game. Life will be consumed by absolute loss. Then and only then will you understand what you have done to me. I would not kill you, boy. Not like Woods. You will suffer with me. And then one day, you will see this pendant again. Hmm? And you will remember everything you saw and felt tonight. You will remember all the years of anger and pain. And when you do, David, please come to me. Dad. Now, over the next 30 years, Menendez goes silent and builds up his own personal army, costing billions and billions of dollars. And on June 22nd, 2014, Menendez reveals his plan, creating the group Cordis Die. And I don't know if that's how you say it properly, but this group, by the year 2025, has over 2 billion followers. And this is when Raul Menendez's big attacks begin. And this is when David Mason starts to get back involved with Raul Menendez. Now after this, the game turns its focus to solely focus on Menendez, and in doing so, the next mission, you actually go ahead and as the CIA, you capture Menendez. Now after capturing Menendez, he is brought onto the USS Obama, where David Mason gets to interrogate him. And I can't really do this scene justice, so I'll just let you listen to the main parts of this interrogation. I'm not a kid this time. But you can go ahead and try what you did back then. It was taken from me. Do you know what that feels like yet? Now after this, Raul Menendez manages to escape the USS Obama after he puts an attack onto it. And after doing so, he actually hacks the Americans' weapon system, turning their own weapons against them. Now after this, Menendez releases a video to the world showing many US cities getting attacked. But fortunately, David Mason is actually able to track him down, and then it is decision time. There are three possible endings that can happen. The first of which is you shoot Menendez in the head, he dies, and becomes a martyr. The world turns against the US government, and Cordes Dai takes over. Option number two, you don't take Menendez. Menendez gets jailed, but then later escapes. He then comes to kill Frank Woods, and then afterwards goes ahead and burns himself alive. However, neither of these are the canon endings. In the actual canon ending, Raul Menendez is captured and stuck in jail. He does not escape, but as it turns out, Alex Mason is actually not dead. Turns out, Frank Woods just shot him in the knee, and this entire time, he has been in hiding from Menendez. Now that Menendez is captured, he can come out and once again be reunited with his son. That is the canon ending. Now, one thing that is not shown in Black Ops 2, but is part of the canon ending, is how Raul Menendez actually dies. As it turns out, in the canon ending, once again, Menendez does try to escape, however, actually gets caught disguised as a US soldier, and is shot and killed. 
This is why David Mason feels safe coming out of hiding is because in that canon ending, Menendez is actually dead. So if Menendez is dead, how does he return in Black Ops 4? Well, a pretty simple answer. We've talked about it many times. Once again, Savannah Mason comes up with the idea of reincarnating people, bringing them back from the dead known as archetypes. She did this with characters like Alex Mason, Frank Woods. Another character she did it with is Raul Menendez. So we don't really get to hear exactly how Menendez ties into the Black Ops 4 story. But what we do learn from the intel from the Black Ops 4 specialist headquarters is that Raul Menendez was actually working with Savannah to get the archetype project up and running. However, when he finds out that Jessica Mason is working against it, loses his noodle and says that he is going to kill Jessica. And, well, I'll just let you listen to it. The cancer is spreading. Our archetypes are the cure. You, me, Woods... Mason, all of us, this is a matter of national security. I have sworn to guarantee the success of this project. You cannot walk back what you just told me. You better back the fuck off. It is out of your hands now. I will take care of it. I will fix this. It's too late. Remember... You came to us. Look, you can't, you can't do this. All right, she's my sister. Was your sister. Just try it. Now, it's not further explained in the Specialist HQ, but the one thing that we do know based off of looking at the different multiplayer maps is what happens next with Menendez. It appears as though he branches off from Savannah and kind of makes his own way. When we look at the map Hacienda, we can see the spider web wall with the middle character leading to Raul Menendez, the one-eyed man. On top of that, if you go to the map Militia, he is actually leading a group of people called the Patriots of the North. Furthermore, on the map Icebreaker, he is the one leading the attack on the submarine to recover a nuclear retrieval device on the map Icebreaker. Raul Menendez is once again becoming a force and a villain after he is already dead as an archetype. Will this lead into the story of possibly Black Ops 5 and Menendez being the bad guy once again in that game? As of right now, we don't know and only time will tell. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is the full story of of Raul Menendez. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. These videos take so much editing, so much research, and so much work, so if you do enjoy, I really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. If you like what you see and want to stay up to date on all my videos, the best way to do so is make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you have notifications turned on. And guys, if there's a specific character you'd like to see me cover next, let me know down in the comments below. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are